What's that, Cube? You... You want me to kill everybody? Well, I mean, they were demons, so I was probably gonna do that anyway, but okay. I'm burning dog face. And this is Let's Play Doom 3 BFG Edition. We're heading into Central Processing, where I hope to confront Sarge. Well, not really. But, uh... I guess it has to be done. Let me guess. Awesome. Slightly less awesome. Oh yeah! This looks like a boss room, alright. Ammo just there, keep that in mind. Well, I will, I mean. You can think of whatever the fuck you want. <sighs> Actually, fuck it. If we're gonna fight a boss, let's lead to this. Welcome to the missile. Oh god! The fuck? That thing is Sarge? Okay, that didn't work. That thing was Sergeant Kelly? Right now, save it after I did all that. Oh god. Oh god. Get away, get away, get away. Sucks. You're not my boss. I didn't get you anything, except a gruesome death. Yeah, I know, I've had two of these before. I didn't even know what to say to you, Kelly. You are a disgrace to the Marine Corps. Well, the Space Marine Corps. Where did he even find this thing to stick himself on it? Fucking A. This is just a tank, isn't it? He just stuck himself in a tank.
Nope, not that one, this one. I don't want to check that. I wonder. Fuck your paint job! This is where he came out. I can honestly say I wasn't expecting that. Maybe some kind of big, uh humanoid demon with a gun, but... Not that. Disappointed it didn't do a uh, intro cutscene for him, if only because it means I won't have a obvious way uh, to get a cut uh, thumbnail from him. Well, Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Site 3 Awesome. That's something weird, and I just looked over here. Just, just having this solid thing here made it so that when I looked down the hallway, the very first thing that popped into my head was a large hadron collider. Oh good, you guys. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh. Alright, round two. So. Well played. Jesus. I'm actually have better health now than I did before. Oh, uh... Mother of God. Alright, so who does have security equipment? Pierce Rogers. Kind of surprised Sarge didn't drop a, uh. Not want. Oh, I heard that. Ah, oh, I was standing in the gut hole. I'm never touching these boots again. I'm going to cut them off with a knife. Assuming that, uh... Oh god, oh god, oh god! Fucking okay, splash damage. Yes, assuming that they don't change things up and give the game a massive bummer ending. If you come to think of it, Doom kind of had a bummer ending by having it... You beat episode 3, get your way back to Earth from Hell, and discover that the demons have beaten you there. I don't want to go there. All right, there it is. I heard that. Fucking spiders. Suggestive. Do not 
to you guys in a while. Oh hell, you aren't what I thought you were at all. Holy! Okay, fuck this. Fuck this. And one to grow on. Why am I using this thing? It's just pissing him off. Um. Okay. And breathe. And use that. And use that. Better. Uh, no. I have no idea what I was starting to say. None whatsoever. I'll watch the footage later and go, God damn it, why didn't I remember that? And then feel dumb about it. But I can't remember. Oh, hindsight. That's probably the worst part about being, or doing these LPs. Not even that people can see when you fuck up. People can see when your mind wanders. <laughs> fuck this. No, thank you. Go back to hell where you belong. Alright, I will give you this. Floating candles and stuff are kinda awesome. You know, credit where credit's due. Demons need a how to list and how to make a sacrificial summoning altar. We just have this big portal now. Ooh, metal. Motherfucker. You are not the one I should have been aiming at! Damn it! Okay, that could have gone a lot better, but I survived. I'm pretty sure by now I'm the only person alive, unless Ian McCormick is still around. Well, not counting the Truger, obviously. You know... Rock's... The Rock's character, Sarge, in uh, the Doom movie, turns into a monster at the end. Spoilers. But, um... Well, it's really more The Rock with, you know, fangs and claws, but whatever. But I'm hoping that hadn't been inspired by this game. Uh, Delta, subject offline. Administration, subject offline. These are all places I've been. All the places I've been to have been shut down. Okay. Oh, it's just a glowing panel. Gain 
maintain security clearance for all Site 3 areas. Right, need to find that other guy. Richard Davis, Discovery in the Ruins. This is the scientific journal of Dr. Richard Davis, dated August 8, 2145. We've just broken through to a new chamber, and I think I found the map alluded to on one of the tablets. The artifact is constructed into the ceiling, and it is a magnificent find. It appears to be made of some crystalline material, and even after all this time, it is still emitting a soft glow. The markings on it were strangely familiar when I first observed it, and after digitizing it and analyzing it, I'm certain this is a map of our solar system. It seems to show a connection between Mars and Earth. My current working theory is that the last survivors used the teleportation technology to escape to Earth. The ramifications of this are overwhelming. This may end up proving that we are actually descendants of this race, and what we are exploring is our own history. I am going to report my findings as soon as we finish the excavation, and they should show up in corporate within a few days. These are truly exciting times. Log out. Awesome! I have my pen out, but I just realized I already got that achievement for opening all the lockers, so I guess I don't really need it. Malcolm Betruger. Discovery in the Ruins. Mr. Davis, I received word of your discovery. Very impressive start, but I am not yet convinced. Do not you let, do not lose sight of the bigger picture. We still have a lot of work to do before any of these findings will be ready for dis distribution or publication. Analysis must continue on the remaining artifacts. Your audio reports in the future need to be more analytical and less emotional. It is important that we all maintain our professionalism and do not become biased or too attached to our work. I do not want to remind you of this again. Continue to forward me your findings, and I'll help you manage the report so as not to give corporate the wrong intent impression. Malcolm Petruger. I'm pretty sure this was before they found the portal, so I guess this was uh, just when he was an asshole, not you know, some kind of demonic wacky. I don't know. A collaborator, at the very least. Lowell, Lowell Fauché. Ruins safety concerns. Hey Dick, the structural integrity of the ruins is deteriorating. Our initial rock form and in-ground analysis prior to deep ground uh, exploration inferred no immediate dangers. In fact, the ruins structure itself is designed and determined to be very sound. As you already know, expansive underground digs of this nature are an engineering nightmare. The heightened pressure to open up the primary dig site was a dangerous oversight. Just recently, one of our engineers, Peter, got crushed by a falling brick. Yep, those huge stones lining the entire wall and ceiling of the ruins. Some of the guys are mumbling over the walls being alive or something, but you and I know it's just the horizontal stretching of the regional tectonic stretches. <laughs> Stones. Alive. Spooky. I think we all need a long vacation. Anyway, watch your step and don't forget to look up once in a while. Foshinator out! Pierce Rogers. That's the guy I'm looking for. Tablets are key. Richard, I thank you for your industrious support of the work being conducted here. I've been compiling your data along with mine, and I've made some startling new discoveries. I firmly believe your work with the tablets is the key to solving the myster mysterious relationship between the Soul Cube, the Ancients, and us. Why is every extinct alien race called the Ancients, or the Forerunners, or something you know, bland like that? Uh, sorry, got distracted there. Yes, uh, I am sending word to the Executive Council for an immediate increase of our research budget. I have a strange feeling that we must find the answer soon, or... No, I dare not say it just yet. I'll contact you post-haste with any news regarding our funding. Pierce. doors here at all. Alright, that'll do. Ah, good. You don't fool me. Your hugs are no one's pleasure. So 
Suddenly I'm just imagining uh, a maggot at one of those... Uh, you don't really need to do that in a specific place. Just walking around with one of those free hug signs that you see in that touching video from a few years ago. Damn you, Pierce Rogers! And damn you, Wallmeat! Well... I'm Burning Dogface, and I guess in the next episode of Let's Play Doom 3 BFG Edition... <sighs> we check out what's up this ladder. I'll see you then. Bye.